Okay, so the year is 2016. And my wife and I have decided to go on vacation this summer. And we're going to New Orleans, Puerto Rico, and New York. That's where we're going. We know we're gonna have a good time in New Orleans. We've never been to Puerto Rico. And of course, we know we're gonna have a good time in New York. We love New York. But we leave the kids at home. Now Kobe was, gosh, a freshman? No, a junior. He was a junior. I think he was a junior going into his senior year. That's what it was. Junior going into his senior year, Kelly was a freshman going into her sophomore year. Now Kelly, well look, uh, before I tell you anymore, let's go on with my day and we'll, we'll pick it up. All right, you know what time it is. Time for me to get up and get going. I got some things I gotta do. So you know what I'm getting ready to tell you? Come on, let's go for the ride. Okay, so Kelly, we wanted to make sure that Kelly um, was not at home with her brother. That one's gonna happen. So Kelly, when we left, we were gone for like three weeks now. When we left, she stayed with my mom and my sister and Kobe, since he was the boy and a little bit older, hey, you go ahead, you stay here, but you check in with your grandma and you check in with your dear share. Okay, mom, dad, oh yeah, not a problem. Now, Kobe, here's the rules. I don't want nobody over at my house, nobody. Kobe, I don't want anyone, anyone or anything near my house. Kobe, I don't want nobody at my house. Oh yeah, Dad, don't worry. I'm not gonna have anybody over. Oh yeah, me? Come on, Dad, you don't have to worry about me. Really? But let's continue on with my day and I'll tell you the rest. You know, as much as I like Walmart's pricing, I have to ask sometimes, is the pricing worth the wait in line? Okay, so we've laid the rules down with Kobe. Yo, bro, nobody over. So what happens? We leave, we go on vacation, we go to New Orleans, fantastic time. Get to Puerto Rico, ah, love Puerto Rico, old San Juan, absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend anybody to go there and check it out. And, but now we're like two weeks and we're starting to miss the kids. We're checking on them, we're calling, yeah, everything is good, okay, great. So at the last second, we decide, you know what? Let's fly the kids to New York and meet us there. So my sister, nightmare of a time, gets them to the airport LAX, they fly, they land the same time that we're landing from Puerto Rico. Bam, win-win situation, New York, baby. We go to New York, we have a great time. Now, while we're in New York, Kobe gets, I think, strep throat. And we had to take him to the hospital so he can get treated, because it was pretty bad. And as we have him in the hospital, they gave him something that like really relaxed my son, like really made him feel really, really chill, okay? And he said something as he was being all chill that made us go, hmm. And what it was is they gave him this tube. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll tell you, just let's go on with more of my day. Probably think it might, why are you even at Walmart again? I had to go buy some more shake stuff for my Aunt Chris, and this is the only place that they have it at. And when I came yesterday, or the day before, whenever it was, 
They didn't have any. And they got some today. So, there, this is why I came. And sure enough, I had to grab some stuff while I'm here. Okay, so they gave him this tube and it, it was like a laughing gas or something because they had to go in his mouth to where his tonsils and they had to scrape and they, they had to do some stuff to him there at the hospital. And so they gave him this like laughing gas and I would call it laughing gas and he started um, just kind of being funny. And then at one point, Gina asked him like, something and he goes oh wait he said something like to the effect is this are you being drunk or something or are, you, are you drunk and he goes he turns to her and he goes nah this is just good kush and we looked at each other like what does he know about good kush but that's as far as it went so you know took him back to the room whatever we had a great time in new york we come back home and um, about a week later, Gina was taking her and the kids on a cruise with her mom and uh, other family members. We had just had a family reunion, had a blast. It was a lot of fun, but they're going on to the family reunion. I'm going home. Well, at the last second, Gina forgot everyone's, I think, a birth certificates or something. So she had to cancel the trip, but instead of coming back home, she decided to stay in LA. Well, she's staying in LA with the kids. Kobe broke his phone. And so he goes, hey mom, can I use your phone so I can check the gram? She's like, yeah. And she gives him her phone and he logs in and he does whatever he's doing all night on his phone. But I'll tell you more, you know. Continue watching. Okay, gotta come into this convalescent hospital. I gotta take my Aunt Chris her shakes and get her shakes in. And I'm not gonna take the camera in there because I don't like taking the camera in there. So, I'll be right back. Hold on. So he's up all night on her phone. They have a good time in LA. They come back home. And then a couple days later, Gina realizes that she keeps getting all these notifications on her phone, on Instagram, from people that she just doesn't know. And she's like, I don't, I don't who is this? I don't follow, who, who is this? So sure enough, what happens? Oh, that's right. Kobe forgot to log out of my wife's phone's Instagram app well what is this she says and as she starts to scroll through is this Kobe smoking cigarettes is this Kobe drinking alcohol where where did Kobe get a shotgun or is this a rifle where did he get a gun at and what is this Mike and so I come yeah let me see I grab the phone and I start to scroll through what the what the hell is this wait, wait a minute this gun yo this was from like two weeks ago when we was in San wait a minute this is inside my house oh my God. this fool brought a gun inside my house where did he get, who had a gun? Why did, okay, I'm about to lose it. I'm gonna kill him, Gina. I'm gonna, Gina, I'm gonna kill him. I'm, I'm just gonna kill him. What is he, why? Wait a minute, he's in my backyard. He's, is that, that's not a cigarette. That looks like weed. Good, no, not, Co not Kobe, not my, my perfect son in my head that I, uh, Oh no, it is. Wait a minute, is he passed out in this photo on his Instagram? Is this why his account is private? Is this why he banned me? Cause I can't look at his account. OMG, who is, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 
But before I kill him, I'll, let's go on with my day. I'm not gonna show your face, because I'm not that kind of father. The camera's on me. You don't have to worry. Can you leave me alone? I'm not bothering you. I'm the moody. camera is on me. I'm moody. I'm not bothering you. Mom. You, look, you can clearly see that the camera is on me. Okay. And I'm not going to mention anything about how you look right now. I would never do that. Oh, but... <laughs> I would never tell anyone Dad, that... right now is not the time, okay? The time for what? For this. I'm not doing anything. I don't. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm you're talking about. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not bothering you. Yes, I'm. Thank you. Go show your cake? Yeah, go get some other content somewhere. <laughs> Just go. She meant a cake that she made, not her cake. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna murder him. So, of course, we do what most parents do. Well, I don't know about most parents, but yeah, of course. I took the door down. I said, ha, ha, guess what, brother? You don't have a door no more to your room. How about that? Um, oh, yeah, this computer that I gave you, this iMac, um, yeah, mine. All the musical equipment, mm, yeah, mine. Because you know what? I bought it. And you did exactly what I told you not to do was, one, have anyone at my house, but two, and more importantly, not only did you have people at my house, it's what you did while you were at my house. House. So what does Gina say? I'm getting up tomorrow and I'm cleaning out his room. I'm cleaning it all out. It's all going. All of it. All of this stuff. Now mind you, by the time we had found this stuff out, he was already gone to LA with his friends. We had already let him go spend the night. So now we've got free access to his room. And all of a sudden, as Gina's in the room cleaning, I hear, Mike! And I, I immediately got scared. So I run to the room, I'm like, what, what? And she's like, Mike, look under the bed. I'm like, oh damn, it's a rat. It's a, is it dead? It's a, I'll tell you more. Just, just hold on. Gina went to a cake making class and bam, she made a unicorn cake. I wonder if it's any good. I'm not gonna eat it though because I'm watching my figure. So she says, look underneath the bed. So I do. What I've always done, I grew up in a home where, you know, there was mice and stuff. I'm like, oh, God, there's a mouse in the house. And I get down on all fours and I peek underneath the bed and I'm looking at it. I'm like, well, you know, typical boy stuff. Shoes and magazines and I don't know. And then all of a sudden I, I see something and I go, what? Well, what is this? And I, I remember I, I reached and I, I grabbed it and I was like, it's kind of plasticky. And I, what is, what the hell is this? And I, I pull it out. <laughs> it was a blow up doll. Ooh, what the? This fool had a blow up dog underneath the bed. Can you? Ooh, this boy, I swear. Okay, look, I have to give some context here. No, my son did not have sex with the blow up dog. No, he used it for a music video. Uh, here, look, here's some proof. I'll show it to you. Look. I'm gonna choke him. 
that's what I'm gonna choke him. And then after I choke him, I'm gonna bring him back to life and then I'm gonna choke him again. Yeah, oh. Blood pressure, boom, just, I'm gonna punch him. Gene, I swear I'm gonna punch him, I'm gonna punch this boy. He gets home. We go through the whole punishment thing. We take his car from him. And, and then even there, <laughs> the love machine as we called it, you know. Box of condoms, gone. Uh, okay, we'll continue on and I'll tell you the rest. I'm not recording you. I'm not recording you. No, 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 no. I will never do that to you. You already have! No, I haven't. Yes, you have. What day? Remember my eczema one? What eczema one? The one where I was talking about my shot, bro. Go ahead, it's fine. I don't care. Oh, no, no, trust me. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not that kind of a parent. I'm not that kind of... No, have you noticed on your Instagram stories you've been getting a lot more views? Why? Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Someone's hacking the system. They did a whole video on it. So yes, he did everything that I thought he wouldn't do, but yet I thought he's capable of doing. It sounds really weird, right? But the thing that's really funny though is See, Kobe loves music. And Kobe would spend hours and hours and hours working on his craft. And frustration. But I would always hear him in his room constantly working on music, constantly working on music. And so I share this story with you because It's the rebel in him. It's the anti, I'm not going, I'm not gonna do it your way. I'm gonna do it my way. I'm going to live life on my terms, which is what I've always taught him. I taught him not to listen to dogma. And if you don't know what dogma is, it's uh, not listening to other people's uh, opinions uh, just because they might be an authority like I'm not gonna just take what you say I'm gonna figure this out on myself which is kind of how I am and it's what I've taught him and of course this is obviously funny but that particular summer I remember him working on his music Every single day, I could hear it. I could hear it pounding in the room, pound all night long, all night long. You know, I never made him go, hey, turn that down. I, if he was up at three in the morning, cranking out. I, I, I appreciate it. I loved him making his music, his craft. So, I'm going to show you something right now, and this is a guy who I don't even know who he is, but he's on YouTube and he has, you know, X amount of followers and. This particular video has a lot of views, like over 60,000, I guess, right now. But watch this little clip that I show you right here. I've been trying to think of like a mainstream rapper that I would classify as anti-rap, and I really can't. So when I'm editing this video, I'll put someone up here that I think maybe could fit in the category. But I made a playlist on Spotify called Anti-Rap, and why don't we just go through some of the songs, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I feel like calling this rap or calling this artist Jazz Ingram a rapper is limiting his growth potential. The vibe and the feeling of this song to me feels more like an indie song. Yeah, he is rapping and he is using rap flows, but I mean, there's like what feels to be like a real bass line in there, a real bass guitar. It's not 808 driven. There's these very like round textured synths that remind me a lot of like EDM future bass in it. And the song isn't really about what most hip hop songs are about. It's not about, you know, drugs and 
diamonds and girls. Sure, you could be like, that's a rap song, and I would agree with you, but it's a, it's a little bit different. I didn't really make this clear in the beginning, but you guys know my list videos, right? The ones that look like this. Well, I'm partially gonna treat this video like a list video and just show you a bunch of songs that I think fit in the anti-rap category. Okay. Did you see that Jazz Ingram? Okay. If you looked at the screen, it's Jazz Ingram. Production by your friend Cammy. My son goes by the name of your friend Cammy. That is the music. Jazz is the rapper artist, and they've been collaborating since 2016. Maybe even sooner than that, that I know of. And I remember when he made that beat, I remember hearing him making that music. And that's all he's been doing is perfecting his craft. And so to hear this guy talk about the sound and the sonics, because it's really hard for me to explain to people my son's particular sound. He's not trap. He's not traditional hip hop. He's not R&B. Um, he's not electronic. He is a fusion in the Tyler the Creator sense, Frank Oceanus, maybe? He's his own sound that I, I haven't heard very much that's like it. I've heard other artists, kind of similar producers, but he is his own dude. He's not anti-rap or anti-art. He is as my wife just told me, anti, which is A-N-T-E, anti-rap. And it's, it's abs it actually last night, it brought a tear to me when I seen this. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch the whole video. Um, but man, that dude was talking about my son and his buddy Jazz, who just released another EP just a few months ago, that I think is even better than that. What's what what, the, what he showed? And I share this with you today because it is a reminder of our youth. And even though my my son is still very young, he still very much growing and evolving and he believes in his dream and he believes in his music and he believes in what he can do and what he can accomplish and my wife and I are just happy to help him in this process and helping him be the best version of himself if you ever get a chance to meet my son you'll really see he's really a deep thinker he's really cool and uh, most adults like him. Did he have some bumps in the road? Of course. But man, I remember the summer of 2016. And I remember him with all his nonsense. And I also remember him making that particular song that this guy shares in that video. So, whether you're young or whether you're old, Put your time in and do what you love and be passionate and just know, yeah, sometimes we're not always perfect, but we can always turn it around and you never know when someone else is watching what you do. So look, that's all I got for today. I'm not gonna waste any more time, but I am gonna leave you with this. We did go to this party tonight, and we did say a little video tribute to the lady that the, the party's for. So I'm just gonna leave you with this video that Gina actually made for her. I made it, but I had Gina do it. So just watch this. It's like 30 seconds long, and then we're done. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out. Peace. Crystal, I just wanna say how excited I am to be a part of this occasion. You are absolutely amazing, and this is just all wonderful. But most of all, 
you are out of this world. Yeah, Gina, we hear you loud and clear up here. It's a go. She's definitely out of this world.